I should have guessed. All this time and I had no idea. Ethan, what's the matter? I thought I meant something to you. Listen, I... You're a pretty good nurse for a fucking journalist! <gasps> Ethan, I, I I wanted to tell you, but... What kind of article were you gonna write? My life with a serial killer? No, no, no. How I caught the origami killer. Maybe you'll get a book deal. I hope it was fucking worth it! Ethan, it's not what you think. I... You lied to me, Madison! All this time you fucking lied to me! I thought you wanted to help me, but you're only thinking of writing a fucking book?! journalist and I knew that you were the father of the boy who had disappeared and and I wanted to cover the story but then I saw what you were going through to save your son and and I understood how much you love him I wanted to tell you the truth but I couldn't I was afraid that you that you may not believe me. I was afraid that you'd ask me to go. All I want is for you to find your son alive. And when it's all over, I want to be with you. I'm sorry, Ethan. I'm so sorry. You're leaving, aren't you? It's the last origami figure. The last letters, then I'll know where Sean is. Take care, Ethan. I can't lose you now. I'm gonna go find something to eat. Wait for me, I'll, I'll be back in 10 minutes. Now we gotta find his son. And I think I know where to start looking. We'll find his son and prove he's innocent. I'll be able to help him now that he knows who I am. I was so afraid he wouldn't believe me. Wrong move, idiot. I should have admitted everything earlier. Cops. They're looking for Ethan. It looks like a raid. Come on, what was the damn number? Cops. 
They're in the motel. You've got to get out of here. I'm not here to judge you, Ethan. I'm trying to save the life of your son. We still have time, but it's running out. Help me, Ethan. Tell me what you know. Ethan, I'm trying to help you. I just want to understand what happened. But you have to trust me. Look at these, Ethan. Look at these. Eight photographs. Eight lives taken. Drowned in the goddamn rain. Recognize this one, huh? That's your son, Ethan. That's Sean. He is still alive. Talk to me, Ethan. Say something! Ethan, say something, for God's sake! I kidnapped my son. But I can't remember what happened. I don't know where he is. But the only way to find him to let me out of here. I'm the only person who can save him. You say you can save him, but you don't know where he is. It doesn't make sense, Ethan. 
I love my son. I love my son. If you keep me here, Sean is going to die. Time's running out, Ethan. And frankly, I don't care why you did it. The only thing I want to know is where you've hidden Sean. I don't know. I would already have saved him if I knew where he was. Okay. This is your last chance, Ethan. And this time, I suggest you think carefully before you answer. Where is Sean? I told you, I don't know. Ah! Wrong answer. I asked you a question, and now you're gonna answer me, even if it takes all night. Where is the kid? Oh! Carter, stop. I'm gonna report you for this. Go ahead, get the hell out of here. I couldn't stand you from the very beginning, Norman. Now get the fuck out! You fuck! Are you gonna tell me what I wanna know or I'm gonna fucking cripple you? Blake! What are you doing? This guy's a killer! He's got no fucking rights! He's gonna tell me everything! is trying to beat a confession out of Ethan Mars. You've got to do something! Which is more important, Norman? Finding little Sean Mars or sparing that lowlife a few bruises? You can't make omelets without breaking a few eggs. Goddamn! Ethan Mars is innocent! We've got to get back to looking for Sean if we're to have any chance of finding him alive! This case has worn you out, Norman. You need some time off to think it through.
Did Mars confess? No, not yet. He lost consciousness. We'll give him a break and then we'll get back to him. He must be tougher than I thought. Tough or not, he'll crack. They all do. In any case, congratulations, Lieutenant. You've done a fine job. I've called a press conference. Gonna kick off in one hour. I expect it'll be quite an event. Don't you want to wait until we actually got his confession? No point. We've got him dead to rights. That's all the press wants to know. <laughs> Ethan Mars is innocent. He truly believes that he alone can save Sean. What if he's right? I'll play those odds. I've got to get him out of here. I should consult my superiors. Maybe... <sighs> no, that's stupid. I gotta handle this on my own. He may be guilty. He's acting odd, his statements are all confused, and heck, he never said he wasn't the origami killer. No, I, I can't just stand by and watch. I'm gonna help Mars get out of here. It's none of my business. If Perry and Blake think Mars is the killer, what can I do about it? I can't do anything for Mars. These are serious charges he's facing. That shithead Perry doesn't give a damn if Blake beats up a witness or if Mars is innocent. All he wants is to be able to tell the press they've arrested the origami killer.
I gotta find some way to get Ethan Mars out of here. Even if there's only a one in a thousand chance he's telling the truth, he may still be able to save his son. Leave us alone. I, uh, Lieutenant Blake said to... Please, leave us alone. Right, uh, I'll be at the door if you need anything. Christ, are you all right, Ethan? Get out of here. I've got to save my son. Let's see what I can do. I'm gonna find a way to get you out of here, Ethan. Stay put. I'll be back.
Gary, you can take a break. I'll keep an eye on him. You sure? Actually, I was busting for a piss. If you need to adjust his handcuffs, the keys are on my desk. That's it. You're free. Here, put this on. They're having a break. If you're quick, you'll be able to slip out without being noticed. Head straight to the exit. Don't stop, don't talk, don't even think. Just walk. I don't know what to say. I... Just say you're gonna save your son. Lord? I'm sorry, Scott. You should have listened to me, Mr. Shelby. I told you to drop the investigation. Your son is a serial killer. How many people does he have to kill before you turn him in? Gordy has his faults, but he's still my son. You have no children, Mr. Shelby. You can't possibly understand. You leave me no choice. Your investigation is over. For good.
all those kids, didn't he? He's the origami killer. No! No! He's innocent! He's not a killer! Not a killer! <laughs> oh! 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 You're a fucking liar. Now tell me the truth. No! No, please! Don't hurt me! Last chance. I don't know. I swear! I don't know anything! Stop! Stop! I beg you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you everything. Uh, Gordy... Gordy always wanted his fun, you know? He wanted to... to be like the origami killer. He kidnapped that kid and... He held him under the water for a little too long. It was an accident. An unfortunate accident. He just wanted to play. He told me everything. He was crying. He was so sorry for what had happened. Whatever he did. Gordy... Gordy is my son. No one will miss him. What? That boy, Gordy killed. No one will miss him. Just street trash, like so many others. Oh, you disgusting pile of shit. And what about John Shepard? 
Why did you put flowers on his I... grave? I own the construction site where he died. I never forgot. I've been putting flowers on his grave for 30 years. John had a twin brother. What happened to him? I don't know. He was adopted, I think. His mother. His mother should know. Her name is Anne. Anne Shepard. That girl, Lauren. She was just a whore. You'll forget her in no time. Come and work for me, Shelby. I'll pay you well. We have have all the girls you want. Never say her name again. You hear me? Never. My heart! My heart! Quickly! I need my pills! In that drawer! There! Miss, can I help you? Hello, I'm looking for Anne Shepard's room. Please sign the visitor's book. Are you a member of the family? Yeah, you could say that. Oh, she'll be pleased to have a visitor. No one ever comes to see her. With the Alzheimer's, she has trouble remembering things, but it'll still please her, you know. It's room 19 at the end of the corridor. Thank you. Hello, Mrs. Shepard. Is it time for my pills already? No, Mrs. Shepard, I... They're never on time with my pills. I don't know what they do here. 
In the other hospital, they were always on time. But here, My name is Madison Page. I'm a journalist. I'd like to ask you some questions about your son. I don't like this hospital. The food isn't very good, you know. Try to remember, Mrs. Shepard. John's twin brother was placed with a foster family after the accident. What was the name of the foster family? I asked them for a television, you know. They said I didn't have enough money. It's a pity. I'm fond of television. Do you remember John? My Johnny. He is a good little boy, you know. You had a son named John and John had a twin brother. Do you have my pills? It's time for my pills. Mrs. Shepard, your son may be linked to a series of murders. Perhaps you have some information that could help the investigation. Are you a new nurse? Where are my pills? I know what happened at Carnaby Square. Do you remember? Carnaby Square. I think I used to live there a long time ago. We didn't have much money at the time, you know. We had to make do with very little. Your other son, Mrs. Shepard, John's twin brother. What was his name? What other son? I have no other son. I never had any children. I think your son is in trouble, Mrs. Shepard. He's done some terrible things. I need to find him. Do you understand? Terrible things you're telling me. He never came to see me, can you believe it? In ten years, never. No one forgets their mother, do they? You don't seem to get many flowers, Mrs. Shepard. No, but I love them. My son knows that I love flowers. I know he'll bring me some. Are these your children, Mrs. Shepard? John and his brother? Is that them? They're good little boys. Their father never looked after them, always drinking. They didn't have an easy life, you know. Did you make these origami figures? My little paper animals. They played with them for hours. I showed my boys how to make them, you know. Yes, your boys, Mrs. Shepard. John and... What was your other son's name again? My other son? I only had one son. My little Johnny.
I love origami, but that's not my favorite one. to do these little dogs too. My children loved origami. I taught them how to do it. John loved the little dogs. He always wanted to call them Max. Max, Max, Max. All dogs with the same name. I was wasting my time telling him they couldn't all have the same name. But he always wanted his paper dogs Max. It's funny, isn't it? Does Mrs. Shepard ever talk about her past? It's not all very clear to her now. Sometimes she'll remember the oddest things, though. I suppose if she sees something that reminds her of her past. I'm looking for her other son. He was adopted. I mean, he, he's probably changed his name. Is there any official documentation on Mrs. Shepard? No, there's nothing really. Nothing about her family. I guess if her son was adopted, then she's the only one who could tell you about that. Does she get many visitors? She's been here for ten years, and you're the first. Sometimes, if you show her things, it seems to trigger a memory from her past. You might get it to remember. Thanks for the advice.
Show her things that take her back. She said she loved flowers. But what kind? What a lovely orchid. My sons loved orchids. We used to grow them in the back. When John died, I laid orchids on his grave. I cried when they told me. I'd already lost one of my children, and now they were taking away another one, you understand. The Foster family, Mrs. Shepherd. What was the name of the foster family that adopted John's brother? They were really very nice people. I met them, you know. In the beginning, I used to go and see my little boy. And then I got sick and I couldn't go any longer. Perhaps he thought I'd forgotten him. He must have thought I didn't love him anymore. His name, Mrs. Shepherd. What was his name? But I loved him. If you only knew how much I missed him. Please, Anne. His name. What was his name? Come closer. The last trial. The last question. Are you prepared to give your life to save your sons? There is a deadly poison in this file. It will kill you in exactly 60 minutes. If you drink it, you will get the last letters of the address. 
you will have enough time to save your son and say goodbye to him, but then you will die. You can drink the vial or decide to leave. The choice is yours. I did what I had to, Sean. Your dad's coming to save you. Several different addresses fit these letters. God, they're scattered all over the city. I don't have time to check them all. I only have time for one address. If Sean's not there, I'm done. It's a crapshoot.
a restaurant. Goddamn restaurant! I got the wrong address! I screwed up everything! Christ! I'm so sorry, Sean! I'm so sorry! We've only got a few more hours left to save Sean Mars. There has to be a goddamn clue somewhere. It's probably staring me in the face. This kid's gonna die, and I'm going around in circles! All packed up and ready to go? What are you talking about? The investigation's over. We know who did it. No longer need your services anymore, Norman. So you can ride your files all the way back to Washington. I'd be lying if I said I was gonna miss you. The investigation isn't over. You have absolutely nothing on Mars. Mars is guilty. Case closed. Anyway, it's no concern of yours. Now you're off the case. So pack up and fuck off. Blake. You are an unbalanced, psychopathic asshole! I'll take that as a compliment. Honestly, I don't give a shit what you think. I found the origami killer. Everyone's happy. End of story. Have a nice trip back, Norman. Killer's name is here. Somewhere in this data. I just have to find it. Find it before it's too late. Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. That would be most unfortunate, sir. The gun the killer left at the Blue Lagoon. Perhaps there's some way of tracing its history. Impounded in a police case five years ago, the gun is still supposed to be in police custody. Who checked it out? If not a cop.
Ari was in record mode when I was fighting with the killer. Perhaps there's something on it. sword was already in Paco's office. It's got nothing to do with the killer. Looks like the killer is a cop. Carter Blake! That would explain the dead-end investigation and his desire to frame Ethan Mars. Carter Blake, you're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say, you can and will be used as evidence against you in a court of law. You should be locked up. You're a fucking lunatic. Jesus Christ, Jaden, you completely off your head? Accusing Lieutenant Blake of being the origami killer? I have proof, Captain. Your proof is a load of bull, Norman. All you have is a load of crackpot theories. I'm taking you off the case. Pack your bags and go back to Washington. Your superiors will hear about all this. Believe me. Let's greedy 
mouth to see, won't it? Go away. Please, Dad, I'm begging you. John's gonna die. John's gonna die, Dad. What did I tell you? Crap.
lost your touch, girl. The origami killer's apartment. There must be something that'll tell me where Sean Mars is. That's where the smell of burning comes from. Evidence going up in smoke. He used to be a cop. Probably knew exactly how an investigation would be carried out.
cop's uniform. Always trust a cop. That's why children went with him. He was dressed as a cop. Shit, it needs a password. How does this twisted fuck's mind work? be something related to his childhood. What did he call those paper dogs when he was a kid? Got it. Max. The name John gave to his paper dogs when he was a child. What the hell is that? An address. It's gotta be where Sean Mars is. Hurry. There's no time to lose. So you found my little secret? It's over, Scott. All those children killed just to find a father capable of saving his son? Shut up! You don't understand. There's one child left. There might still be time to save him. Let him go. Do what your father couldn't do.
way too high. I'll kill myself if I jump. I gotta find something else. I know where Sean Mars is. No time to call anyone. I'm on my own. I've got to go there. I just can't wait here while the boy might be dying. You're the only one who knows who I am, and I'm going to make sure that you'll never talk. You can't let the kid die, Scott. He's not responsible for what happened to you. Only his father can say. 
For years, I hoped a father would sacrifice himself to save his son. Every time they failed, it was as if my brother dies again. You've killed all these people, Scott. And for what? Nothing. Just to ease your pain. It has to stop now. It won't make your pain go away. You don't understand. Out there, out there is a father who loves his son enough to sacrifice himself. I'm fine. Whatever it is. father was an alcoholic. He was just some poor guy who was so messed up with alcohol that he couldn't save his son. You know nothing about what happened, you hear me? Nothing. He never cared. We were just something to beat on. A punching bag for his filthy anger. He let my brother die.
Save me! Please, save me! There was general relief this morning when the police announced that they had found Sean Mars alive more than four days after his disappearance. Mars had been imprisoned in a well by the man known as the Origami Killer. And news of a happy ending tonight as police commended the courage and tenacity of Madison Page, a reporter covering the Origami Killer story. Miss Page was a critical factor in the successful resolution of this case. Our main headline today. It is reported that the police have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Scott Shelby, 48, is a former police lieutenant who claimed to be a private eye hired by the families of the killer's victims. Shelby was killed during a massive police operation, but further details have not yet been released to the public. Let's just say a friend of a friend let me jump in line. If we like it, it's ours. Hey, Dad! I think I found my room! Well, what do you think? It's perfect, Ethan. We'll be able to forget what happened. We'll lead a normal life. And one day, it'll all just seem like a bad dream. We've earned the right to be happy now, Ethan. All three of us. you've thought this through, Norman? You've got a promising career ahead of you. It's a pity that... With all due respect, sir, I'm done thinking. I need to lead something like a normal life. I've just got a bit too close to everything recently. I need to step back. At least for a while. Will you be coming back to the FBI? I don't know. I'm making no promises. You can keep your Ari if you like. This one's going offline. There's a new model due next month. I... I think you better take it back. It's just a little too compelling, Anna. Well, 
but it won't help me where I'm going. The real world. Whatever you want. I hope you find what you're looking for, Norman. I hope so too. I want to see them again. I'm a father too. 